Today I will be explaining how to change the drive cog bearings and drive chain in a 2002 Articat ZR600. You will need to have it held up in the rear by something safe and solid. Jack stands or a cable type system will work, but if you have access to forklift, this will help out a great deal. You will need a 14mm wrench or ratchet to remove the four bolts that hold the rear skid to the frame. You will need to push the skid forward and to one side to free the skid from the track. Now that the skid is free, you will need to move to the engine bay. You will need to remove the exhaust, so take the needle nose pliers and very carefully take the exhaust springs off one by one. Next up is going to be the chain case. There are six bolts holding it on. You'll need the 14mm ratchet or wrench and take all six of them all the way out. Make sure to have an oil catch can and rags to clean up the mess. As you can see the chain is broken. Excessive play in the worn and or broken bearings cause premature wear. You will need to remove both the top and bottom gears, the top one because it will make it easier to replace the chain later and the bottom one so that the drive cog can be removed. You will need a 20mm wrench to remove both gears. Hold the top gear in place by putting a screwdriver through one of the holes in the brake rotor and the bottom one should be able to be removed without holding on to anything. Take a quick moment to clean up all the oil and broken pieces of chain that are inside of the chain case. You will need to move to the left side of the snowmobile and remove the cotter pin that holds the clutch cover on. Now that you have access to the belt, you'll need to take it off. Spin it towards the rear of the snowmobile and push it to the outside of the clutch. As you spin it backwards, it will slowly come off. You will also need to remove the secondary clutch. Use a wrench to loosen the nut and use the earlier method of holding the clutch from spinning by placing a screwdriver in the brake rotor. You will need to remove the three 10mm bolts holding on the cover for the left side bearing. Now the drive cog can be removed. You will need to get under the snowmobile, push the drive cog from the left side towards the right. As it clears the left side hole, pull down towards the earth and slide it out from the right side hole. Pull the track and the drive cog out from underneath the snowmobile and put them off to the side out of your way. You should be able to take the old bearings out and replace them with new ones now. With the new bearings installed, take the track and drive cog, push the right side into its original place, slide the left side up into its hole, and make sure everything is in place and nothing is out of whack. Reinstall the three 10mm nuts that hold the left side of the drive cog to the snowmobile. Replace the secondary clutch to its proper location and retighten the nut that's holding it in place. Also, you're going to need to reinstall the belt in the opposite fashion that you took it off in. Once the belt is reinstalled, reinsert the cotter pin once the clutch cover is closed. Move back over to the right hand side of the snowmobile. Take both of the drive gears and put them inside of the new chain. Slide them back onto their original places all at once. Take the chain tensioner and put it on the outside of the chain, then reinstall the cotter pin that holds it in place. Take the now clean chain case cover and reinstall it over the gears. Tighten up the six bolts that hold it in place and then you're going to need to add oil to the chain case until it reaches the full mark. In order for the chain to stay tight, you will need to adjust the chain tension screw. Just loosen the lock nut up a fair amount and screw the bolt in as far as you can by hand. Then turn it one quarter turn backwards and tighten up the lock nut. You will need to reinstall the skid inside of the track just as you removed it. Start from one side and work your way over. Once it's in place, you'll need to reinstall the four bolts that held it in place. Once they're installed, you have completed changing the drive cog bearings and the drive chain in your Articat snowmobile.